So how do we solve this? How do we solve an exponential equation in general? Here's the first strategy. Try to make both sides have the same base. Right here, the base is 8. Right here, the base is 4. Let's just focus on the 8 first. Hmm. Can we rewrite that into a power? And I'll tell you yes, because we know 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So we can write the 8 as 2 to the third power. And then don't forget we still have this, right? That's for the 8. And then raise that to the x power. Now on the right hand side, we have 4. So can we write 4 as a power? Also yes, because we know 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So that means 2 to the second power is equal to 4. Now, here we have 2 to the third in the parentheses and then raised to the exponent. We can just multiply the exponents. So on the left hand side, we have 2 to the 3x. And then on the right hand side, we have 2 to the 2. Now, what do we do next? Here is the key. Whenever we have an exponential equation, if the bases are equal, then the power, right, the exponent here must be equal to each other. This is correct for exponential functions because exponential function is what we call the one-to-one -one function and one-to-one -one function because when the output are equal, that means the input must be equal to each other. So from here, we can say 3x must be equal to 2. And then from here, we can just solve this regularly. This is 3 times x, so we can divide both sides by 3. Cancel. And then, ladies and gentlemen, x is 2 over 3. So that's how we get it. Now, I would like to show you guys the check that to see if this is indeed going to work. So what is 8 to the power of 2 over 3? Wow, we have a rational exponent. How do we take care of that? Don't worry, let me show you. Whenever we have some base b raised to some rational exponent, let's say m over n, pay attention to the m first. Change that to a radical. This right here equals, you take the nth root of the base first, and then at the end, put the power on the outside. Do this whenever you are trying to compute something. But if you just want to have a nice look, you can also write this as with the m inside here. The nth root of b to the m's power. This is also okay. For a nice look, in my opinion. So now, for this right here, focus on the 3 on the bottom here, right? So again, this is 2 over 3. The 3 becomes the cube root. And then we do the cube root of a first. Do not put the 2 here. Sometimes the number might be too big. Even though a squared is 64, it's still manageable. But do the cube root. It's easier. And then the second power right here afterward. OK, cube root of a is equal to what? What times what times what give us 8? Well, the answer for that is 2. So this right here is 2. And then after that, we square that. Finally, the answer is indeed equal to 4, just like that. Now, go ahead and try this question on the screen and leave your answer down below and let me know.